morning guys and welcome to a new vlog uh i'm being very what's the word ambitious by vlogging this morning because actually our shoot that is starting at 9 a.m 9 a.m and here i am vlogging even wanting to try on um like some clothes for you guys <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember i feel like it was like two vlogs ago i got um a dress from icon but then it had a foundation stain and like a hole so they actually came and picked it up and they just delivered to me another one which looks good the shoot i'm doing needs three outfits i feel like i'm gonna wear this as one of the outfits let me try it on and see okay this is how it looks on you know what it's cute but then i wish i got it in a in a small like the medium is quite big but I feel like I can still make it work. I feel like maybe with some boots, uh, maybe I put a belt, I don't know. Are we still doing that? Like do people still put belts on dresses? So here's the second outfit of the shoot. Jerry Zon who gave me this dress. She had, I believe, thrifted it and it didn't fit her. And honestly, I am also, yeah i have really sucked in to be able to fit into it if this is gonna be one of the one of the outfits for sure okay guys i've ended up scrapping that dress it's the one there at the top of the pile the one i've just tried before and i think i'm gonna switch it out um for this one i know there's a reason i never wear this dress but right now when i've worn it i'm just like i can't figure out the reason so i'm gonna this is gonna be one of the one of the outfits this is outfit number one i feel like you guys have already seen this outfit before i've even worn it for a shoot i did kitambo this one is just from one of those like random stalls um and this one is one of those that has the potential to become kenya uniform because it's like i've seen it everywhere to date it's such a gloomy day and cold like all these outfits are fucked and not warm so i'm gonna just go with this jacket then when it's time to film i remove the jacket film then i put the jacket back on but i quickly did well i'm like i didn't quickly do my makeup i'm already late guys i'm just warming up my car um and then i get going our uh, nini will probably get there before me which is okay because she can start filming um in advance and Robbie will also be there so they don't feel at you you know we're late because they told us to actually be there by nine these lashes are doing the most the most eh, 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 eh. <laughs> where and then the lighting when it's cold is so harsh it's making me look white or is that just my makeup that just looks white anyways you know what it doesn't matter whether it looks white or not the truth is i can't do nothing about it right now because it's time to go and i'm late we're here we're just finalizing the script before we start say hi to joanna's vlog talking about youtube talking about stuff just got back from the shoot my makeup is yeah like i feel like it needs a touch up but it really doesn't because i mean the shoot is over <laughs> the shoot is over so i just want to probably unpack 
um the bag i had packed for the shoot the shoot was good um but tiring i don't know like funny enough you would think the thing is you'd actually think that a shoot wouldn't be maybe like very taxing because it's just uh, okay, come in, walk here, sit here, uh -huh, stand, uh -huh, pick the drink, uh -huh. but funny enough, even with that, that being said, like that's what you're doing, it still ends up being like so draining, like I've come back home and I'm thinking, am I really the same person who's supposed to like do other work, am I? Um, yes unfortunately i am so i think i'm just gonna take off the makeup and take a break maybe eat something and then after that i can i can figure out the next move never underestimate the power of a break oh my god i really used to underestimate the power of a break like just take a break you're just tired by the way you can finish the work you're just tired just take a break even if it's one hour break and you'll come back feeling renewed you know so I'm, I'm about to take my own advice right now. Hello guys, I just had to vlog that uh, today after almost nine, oh my God, there's a mannequin in front of me and I thought it was someone looking at me. <laughs> after nearly nine months, I am taking out the locks. I'm saying goodbye to the locks. And this one I just had to show you guys because I mean it's been nine months I feel like this is worth recording so I'm just here parked actually outside highway mall which is where Joram is and I'm really gonna miss um, this hair I'm gonna miss I'm just gonna miss this hair because I really enjoyed it it's the easiest hair to have because now I'm about to go back to thinking about what hairstyle do I want to do next do I want to stay with open hair considering that I go to the gym um, do, what about my hairline like just thinking about hair things that I, like I haven't I haven't done that in nine months and whether today it was a risk coming here I had gone to Java for lunch no not for lunch for a meeting earlier breakfast meeting and I ended up kind of staying there the whole day today is Manda Mano and I was worried but I have made it and things are looking okay because it's it's kind of evening it's actually almost 5 p.m. anyway guys let me go in Hey, not me getting back from the salon at 10 30 guys even the building there was no one like the hair took so long to undo i even told her by they don't wash i'll just wash it because i was also feeling bad for her because i was hearing her like making calls do i go here do i go here Nimechelewa. uh yeah she was working on me alone so the process took longer than if she was working on me with someone else so i was there for a really really long time and then i also did my nails i went in with acrylics uh can we focus here please please yeah so this i went in with acrylics but i had broken one nail and they were just not looking good so i was just like let me remove them and i do like a simple gel polish but then now what happened is when she was done you know they usually do they usually undo like up to a certain point and then they wash you and lather your hair in conditioner and then i'll finish undoing up to the root so before she could wash me that first time like the nails were ongoing so we lost quite a bit of time there but anyways of importance is that i am back home and now actually what i'm gonna do is i'll just wash my hair and then probably put it let me just put my laptop back here yeah so i'm i'm gonna wash my hair and then i'm just gonna put it into hey did i make my it's me who made this bed today I don't remember. I feel like I've lived two days in one. I don't even remember waking up and making my bed this morning. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just gonna wash it and do some twists, and then tomorrow I can do some. I can unravel the twists and have a, a cute twist out. But guys, my hair has grown. 
<laughs> my hair has grown you guys like my hair has actually really really grown like for real guys for real i mean it's been nine months and i of course i expected growth but it's so nice and so healthy oh my god just wait until i remove those twist outs tomorrow Ama, we do them together i can share with you guys some of the products i'll use because i didn't know the twist out is gonna be bomb i already know so let me show you what i'm using before you ask when you see the bomb twist out that will be this is what i'm gonna use um this i've never used i'm a huge fan of this brand by the way but i've never used their charcoal detox shampoo i just thought that sounded nice so i got it love the smell of this and i love this conditioner so i'm just gonna wash the hair condition it and comb it out and then i'll show you guys the products i'll use now for um after the hair is clean and for the twists my skin is breaking out Aish. anyways I hey pause 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 how did i not see the hole in this t-shirt oh my god this is one of my favorite t-shirts how did i not see this hole but anyways guys don't pretend that you don't know that the t-shirts with the holes the ugliest ones those are the most comfy for home oh my gosh out there will slay in the house let's look homeless i have just come out of the shower just finished um washing the hair i shared quite a bit of hair let me show you guys i literally saved the amount of hair i shared for you guys wow <laughs> Don't ever say I wasn't a good vlogger, guys. I literally picked all this from the shower just to show you guys how much hair I lost. So, there you go. It's quite a lot. And I probably lost this amount or more when the hair was being undone in the salon. That's expected. Like, my hair has been in locks for nine months so of course i didn't go there expecting not to shed any hair and you shouldn't either you're deaf okay <laughs> you're definitely let me just throw this away i think it's it served its purpose anyway um yeah you're bound to lose hair definitely so don't go in thinking that you're not gonna lose hair it's gonna shed like yeah it's gonna shed and what i'm thinking is this hair didn't want to be on my hair. That's why it fell. So why would I want that hair? We, we don't want things that don't want us. We don't want people who don't want us. You know what I mean, guys? So, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna lose hair. That's a fact. But I'm still very happy with how healthy my hair is and how much it's grown. Oh my gosh. It has actually grown. You know, before I did the locks, I had cut my hair wait i did you know i've done the locks twice so before that before the i think the first time i did i had cut my hair like short like shaved it but now it's long you know it's long guys anyway i'm wondering whether to eat dinner because now it's kind of late it's like it must be 11 p.m and i'm hungry because i ate so long ago but i'm just like i don't want to eat so close to bed so maybe i should just sleep and then wake up and eat i feel like that's like a better course of action or maybe like i have broth or something something very light here we go this is the hair isn't it looking so healthy guys it's actually looking very healthy this is before twists this is in its shrunken state oh this is just fresh out of a wash look at that oh my god it's so healthy wow and my edges are intact as well as you guys can see very intact oh this is the two start it's, it's gonna look amazing i just realized all the products i'm plugging you onto are mikala this isn't sponsored even i have just realized they're all mikala i hope these ones have not expired because i literally have had these for such a long time haven't used these in like a year plus so i hope these are okay i'm still gonna use them regardless that's the living conditioner living treatment i'm gonna use and then this i feel like is the key to success when it comes to um 
twists or twist outs you can use gel but then i feel like gel is heavy this is just like a mafta for the hair and i feel like this just works better the leave-in is on i didn't put so much so i don't like it when the hair just feels heavy because of too much product now i'll put the hair food and i just get straight into um the twist guys i'm just obsessed like it's so full and healthy and oh my god i am obsessed my people i am obsessed hello guys it's the next day here are the twists that i did yesterday so i am actually just in the process of unraveling them i'm going to meet ruth uh i'm feeling quite shitty i won't lie i feel like i'm not i feel like i'm definitely coming down with a cold like or i've come down with it in fact let's see i've come down with it so i have just been medicating and resting but now i feel a lot better so we are going to try out this cute new spot that i found on tiktok i feel like if you're a restaurant and you're not like inviting people to your restaurant to do tiktok reviews what are you doing because that is the only place nowadays where i find like uh recommendations of places to go like everywhere i go i'm just like i found this on t I, I find all of them on tiktok and most of the people who are around me also do the same like we're all just finding restaurants on tiktok looking good the hair is much longer than i thought like much longer you know yesterday when i before i did the twists that was it was in a shrunken state and the twists kind of nini it a bit stretch it a bit so it's a lot longer than i thought i went to the gym this morning and i feel like that was a mistake i feel like that it's like maybe i'd have been feeling a lot better if i didn't go to the gym <sighs> anyway okay let me show you how i'm gonna style it it's just like a high puff honestly these are all minis i steal from my sister i feel like she's a natural hair genius so i just see styles on her and i'm like yep that's the next one it Ta -da! that's the look i think it's really cute i feel very cute i love it guys i love it but now before i get late you know there's always something to fluff up touch up so you just have to be content at some point and stop okay <laughs> good morning guys i can't remember the last time i vlogged but that's not what matters what matters is i have picked up the camera today you see when the hair is different i did this myself you guys you know what i realized like having the open hair is cute and all but maintaining that hair every day no going to the gym with that hair every day no so i was like what hairstyle can i do that's like still cute like you know i can still go out with it but like mostly this is mostly especially for the gym so i did these like flat twists and then at the back um just like regular twists so if i want to wear the hair out that will be easy i just unravel them um and then i'll just be throwing on a wig do you know guys i sold all my wigs i have no wig left i even have to go borrow my sister's wig right now she has temporary locks so i can borrow her wig and she has a really nice one actually from her given hair like a curly one very cute i'm gonna be borrowing that you see i can easily rock a wig on top of this but like even just like this i feel like it's a cute style it's a cute style and i did it initially i didn't think that like i would rock it anywhere else but the gym but i'm like it's not bad this is cute this is cute and it didn't take me that long to do so yeah today is actually mandamano wednesday uh, which has really nothing to do with this package <laughs> 
but i thought i'd still unbox it i really unboxed it on stories guys that is why it looks disheveled after i unboxed it i left it on the dining table and jinjin and kali also had their own unboxing so all this was all over the floor and anyway so this it's from angie's as you can see there angie's crushes i can put her instagram down below i think they're really cute and i'm gonna wear them um today actually because it's kind of a sunny day uh yeah i thought they were really 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 cute and i loved the packaging like the detail like the paper is branded then there's the ribbon like i just liked and this i, I really like the the attention to detail there's a sticker there i'm like i need to step up my game with jana k cosmetics because do, this is what my mates are doing my fellow entrepreneurs uh -uh, we need to step it up there we go so cute so 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 cute let me tell you guys me sometimes i don't know what's wrong with me because my pedicure can be looking disheveled but i will wear sandals regardless okay this foot looks okay and i think i need to add some car oil but this one the two nails are broken it's just looking anyhow but we must continue with the sandals anyways like i said guys it is mandamano wednesday and these protests are going on till friday i believe but we'll see but i'm actually leaving the house um just to go somewhere where i can work because i feel like if i stay in in the house i won't really be as productive as i could be there's this video that i want to put you guys onto and guys you make sure you watch promise me you'll watch it's a really good video it's for you um so during therapy when well i've been going for therapy i've done quite a number of sessions so far and one of the things that my therapist keeps encouraging me to do is to build a good relationship with myself right focus this is an important message <laughs> Yes, so to build a good relationship with myself. And at first I was just like, what does that even mean? You know, like, does it mean solo dates? Does it mean self-care? Like, what does that really mean? And then I came across this video on YouTube on how to build, I don't know what it's called, how to build a good relationship with yourself or something like that. Anyways, I am going to link it down below because she really explained it so well, like what it looks like to to actually build a good relationship with yourself and one of the things she talked about in the video in fact it's the first point was how you have to 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 build a relationship of trust with yourself like other relation like most relationships are built off of trust you have to trust the people who you're in a relationship with so if you're trying to build a relationship with yourself you also have to trust yourself i don't know if you guys have experienced this before i have definitely experienced this before where i i tell myself i'll do something but then there's like a voice in the back of my head that that's like yeah right of course you're not gonna do that you know like i'll tell myself ahead hey, tomorrow i'm waking up like this 6 a.m i am going to the gym okay and then there's like a voice there in the back of my mind that's just like you're not gonna do that girl like you're not gonna do that that i think is like a it's like a lack of trust let me close this there are a lot of families like my neighbors are families and they have kids so that's that what that commotion is all about so uh, as i was saying i think that just points to a lack of trust which is because you have no accountability like within yourself you promise yourself you'll do something and then you don't so you yourself you don't trust yourself when you say you'll do something so what she recommends in the video is just to start building that trust up very slowly she's so encouraging she's just like this won't even take long so you just set like, like a small goal that this week i'm going to drink two liters of water and come rain come shine you drink those two liters of water like that like that and then slowly by slowly i guess you'll find yourself telling yourself hmm, i'm gonna wake up tomorrow and go to the gym at six and that car voice isn't there anymore 
you get it you get it anyways that's just a preview into that video go and watch it guys in case you're like me and you're like what does it mean to build a relationship with self is it just spending time with myself because i live alone i am basically always spending time with myself but she really broke it down well in that video so one of the goals that i set for myself i was finding myself uh sitting on my couch and watching tv a lot like monday morning i'll wake up i'll shower and then i'll just go sit on the couch the tv is on my productivity was in the pits by the time the end of the day comes i'm just not feeling good about how the day went and i'm not feeling good about myself because in my head i'm like i can do better like i can't just wake up and sit on the couch then i'm complaining at you oh this isn't going well oh this isn't going well knowing full well that i could I could do more like i could put in a lot more effort so the goal i set which is small but also not so small was not to sit on my couch until the end of the day till 5 p.m i set for myself 5 p.m last week i made it i killed it this week i'm also killing it you know I I'm finding myself just finding things to do, Yanni. Like, even when I finished the work I had planned for the day, I'm finding myself listening to podcasts. Listen, like, I'm, I'm way more productive than I was before. So today, the reason why, in fact, I'm leaving the house, I, I want to go maybe do my work at a coffee shop or something, is because today seems hard. Like, all I, you know, it's because of this manamano, I'm feeling like it's the weekend, you know. So, like... Why would I not sit on the couch? But I'm like, no, it's not the weekend. So I want to go out and work somewhere. And then I come back in the evening and I can finally sit on this beloved. Do you know, I love sitting on that couch so much. I even want to get a new couch. I want to make my experience, to take my couch experience to the next level. I want to get like a nice L couch. Anyways, that will come later. <laughs> let me uh get going i'm still trying to decide where i'm where i'm gonna go and work kathy was in the building yesterday because of this mandamano uh she couldn't um come today to have been a bit risky so she came yesterday evening like she was leaving here by like 9 p.m but she did some really delicious meals we have guache there she usually grills them and they're so delicious we have some vegetable rice there we have beef stew there chicken curry down there and then we have a pork sweet and sour pork she makes it so well with like ho ho and pineapples which is really good those of you who don't who are not for pineapple in food i feel so sorry for you because you're missing out on life and then um the salad for the week is kachumbari so I'm excited for those meals right now I'm just um, making some broth I'm about to come out of my 18 hour fast which I always break with my broth and where is that my travel mug because I think I'll probably just go um, drinking the broth remember guys I had bought this for to be going with to the co-working space which I is uh, no more <laughs> made it to daily cafe this is where i am this is the gigiri the gigiri ranch which is really 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 cute anyways the only thing i want to say about this place is that the socket situation is not good i don't like i guess they don't get a lot of people coming here to work so my laptop is here but i've had to connect it all the way in there so if my phone dies i don't really know what i'm gonna do but anyway as long as the laptop is charging that's okay i'm starting with a coffee and then i'm gonna have lunch and then i start um working the food is here i didn't make the healthiest choice it was between this and a burger and this is what i decided to have it like fried chicken i hope it will be good and then after that now i get to work and probably once i'm done i'm going to reward myself with a cocktail because why not finished eating so now i am getting to work i will have been working for a minute by the way and then after that i'm gonna end with a cocktail let me not talk for long because this music is gonna get me in trouble here yeah, on YouTube.
Okay, guys, unfortunately, Daily Cafe has closed early, so no happy hour cocktails for me, which is okay. Like, but then I was really just waiting for five o'clock so that I indulge in those happy hour cocktails, and then at around like 4 20, you know, I'm looking at the clock, I'm like, eh, hey, 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 it's almost time. The guy comes and he's like, you know what? Actually, we're closing in 10 minutes, so you're not gonna be able to um like make it to happy hour. But anyways, that's okay. It's because of this mandra mano, because guys, like they have to, I guess, um get home as soon as they can. It's alright, and I actually really enjoy their cocktails. But next time, next time. So now I'm just gonna go home. Probably gonna go visit my sister for like a minute and then go back home and just chill. I got a tiramisu to go. <laughs> yes, I got a tiramisu to go. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? Because I didn't have to get the tiramisu. Why did like as soon as I told him get for me the tiramisu to go? As soon as those words left my mouth, I was like, why, Joanna? Why? Anyways, I'm just gonna enjoy it for today guys. Let's call it a cheat day or let's call it a cheat meal with dessert <laughs> I managed to get some work done, but not all the work the Wi-Fi was really not that good So I was trying to hotspot my bundles are ending quickly um, I was supposed to be having a training with one of my the people I work with one of my employees today over for Joanna K Cosmetics but of course we couldn't meet which is all well because I hadn't finished the document I was working on for the training let me tell you guys something if you're an entrepreneur something they don't tell you whoever they is you're gonna have to learn how to manage your own employees like it's one thing to have employees and it's a whole other thing to manage employees and I feel like I've had a really high turnover when it comes to my um, Joanna K Cosmetics employees. I feel like um, I'm, like people come, people go, something is just never good enough for me. Until now, it's just like, am I the problem? Because <laughs> now I feel like it reaches a point where you're just like, there can't be something wrong with all these people so i must be the problematic one here which was hard to it was really hard for me to come to that realization that you know i'm either one who's like maybe having crazy expectations from my employees i feel like when you're when you have your own business you want everyone who is working in your business to like love your business to be like you in your business you know to love it so much and like to show up for your business like you would show up for your business and sometimes that's just never gonna happen that's just the truth of the matter at the end of the day an employee is an employee they're not you they're not you and they'll never be you it's been hard for me to come to that realization but it has been an important realization for me to make because now i feel like i have more realistic expectations for my employees um i'm not expecting them to just be so in love with my business and be willing to sleep late for my business wake up early for my business i've really managed my expectations because i have to i have to reduce that turnover like something can't be wrong with everyone that's one and two always bringing on new employees is just it's tiring it's honestly just tiring so yeah so I, I made two new hires recently and I had gone back to having no employees guys like I was doing everything by myself which obviously I wasn't being able to keep up with and then I also had all these feelings oh my god the sandal Woo! I had like these feelings of failure you know like I felt like I took so so many steps back in my business like the fact that I ended up 
alone in the business like when I first started and yet I'm like years into running this business it just felt like it just felt like a failure actually guys the camera is going anywhere it wants to <laughs> anyway so yeah I don't know if anyone has experienced this if you are an entrepreneur how do you retain customers like what have you had what mindsets have you had to change um about customers okay you know what i'm gonna do it like that i can't see what i'm doing but i hope yeah uh if there are any small business owners here or entrepreneurs here i feel like this is a conversation we don't talk about much like in the business world or the entrepreneur world like sometimes you can have a really high turnover rate and it's you because you have these really high expectations that you place on your employees i don't know if you have to like change your mindset or if you've managed to keep employees from the jump please leave a comment let me know like let me know what you like how you did it because me i'm just running through employees like i don't know what and i i'm just tired of doing trainings all the time I just want to find good people to work in my business who we get along with and who do their work <laughs> that's all I want that's all I want honestly anyway guys let me catch you at home good morning guys starting the day off with a cup of tea this is the tea I don't know if I put you guys onto this because I really love it I think I did uh, but I feel like you should take it only if you actually like these kind of teas because Chris tasted this and he was like this tastes like fizzto you know that juice fizzto but without sugar so I don't know like take at your own risk <laughs> if you already like these kind of teas then I think you'll love it if you don't don't even bother so today is Thursday and I'm having a shoot <clears throat> It's a nice and lovely shoot and the video is uh, gonna have both the gel and the lotions so one in it should be here any minute actually um, the concept of the shoot is pretty simple first of all guys I have this kahoma that is really really being persistent like every time I think it's gone I wake up the next day and it's like lingering you know so like today I've woken up with a sore throat my nose is like a bit like i'm just feeling a bit congested and i'm just like this has been going on for days like i need to be this persistent with like things i want honestly because this flu is just it's not giving up it is fighting so the concept for the shoot is quite uh, simple so i'm going to it's just gonna show how i use nice and lovely in like my day-to-day life so they're gonna be maybe like four or five scenes one of course is getting out of the shower and moisturizing my body with a lotion the other will be getting ready that's why i'm even taking down this imagine and i've just had this for like i did this on monday and today is thursday and i'm gonna have to just do it again after the shoot um the other one now is getting ready for my day and of course i have to lay my edges uh and then what's the other scene there's one of me washing dishes and then after washing dishes of course uh, moisturizing with nice and lovely i think there's another one we'll do where it's like i'm shooting and then you know like i'm ashy and then i reach for my nice and lovely because yeah you can't be ashy in a shoot i don't even know if that's just giving one any too much work to edit ashy knees in post <laughs> so yeah and then was there another one I, i'm even sitting here to try and finalize everything i feel like there's one more yes after using a uh, hand wash like after washing your hands maybe after using the loo um uh, moisturizing your hands with nice and lovely so that is the shoot of the day it's not complicated and I'm, we always embark on the shoot like ah this one isn't complicated will be done so fast and then we're here for like three four hours just shooting i guarantee that 
it's a it's a short concept a quick concept but it'll take so long to film and i am just looking forward to the moment we finish shoot is going well we are currently on scene three out of either four or five but this is the scene where i'm having a shoot and then you know my legs are ashy and then i apply um the lotion so i had to wear something short <laughs> obviously that needs me to lotion up so we already did the scene where i get out of the shower and moisturize and then we did the scene with the gel that's why my hair is looking so fabulous because it really is looking fabulous and healthy and full so yeah what i made i think i might this is the lotion i might use i don't think this is the small this is definitely not the smallest lotion yeah these are the vibes here so this is the one i'll use for the shoot scene i believe i can turn these lights off i've changed to this let's have scandalous at the bottom but a bit decent at the top Nini is putting her things together. I've been waiting for this moment since I woke up for us to just be like, it's a wrap. So, hallelujah. I have clothes under this gown. But as soon as Wanini leaves, I'm taking this makeup off and probably redoing my hair the way it was before. We wrapped the shoot, guys. So, yes. I am looking just as cute as I was a few minutes ago without I mean with the makeup I just can't ever bring myself to have makeup on when I'm in the house it's just no like people who are able to stay in the house with makeup on are you guys okay like why why would you do that um imagine I really wanna put the hair back <laughs> into what I had before the flat twist that i had before and i'm doing that in the office in the spirit of not sitting on the couch until 5 p.m i am also reviewing some vlog footage of course you guys, guys have already seen this um reviewing because i got an editor i've been saying for so so long guys that i want to get um a video editor and i just never got to it but i finally did and she's doing an amazing job shout out to you mckenna because obviously you're watching <laughs> you're watching this uh yeah and it's good so far like i really like the idea of vlogging and i'm not the one who has to sit down and, and edit so mckenna over to you she's the one who's seeing my face a lot <laughs> Anyway, so I want to do, I think I'll put on a vlog or something. My mind is shut down. There's something about shoots that, and we've shot, let me tell you. Guys, I told you, we always said, yeah, this is a quick shoot. Ah, this one will be done so fast. We have shot. Wanini got here quarter to 10, 9.45. Do you know she has left here at what time? 2.30. We have shot for like four hours. I don't know what it is, but anyways, we took it slow. Like we did it quite slowly. <clears throat> And we're done so i think i'm gonna put on a vlog as i do the hair and just uh do the hair <laughs>
content creation my body just felt so much better it's like no i'm done guys i was just watching alin googi interview which is so interesting but i am done and guess what it's 5 p.m so that couch is calling me by my two names actually my three government names all of them but um this is cute i love this style because it's it's just perfect for the gym anyway guys <coughs> i think it's time for me to bid you adieu and to just relax in the sitting room i've been watching a, a show called about elementary i really like it it gives me like the same feeling i get when i watch the office it's just such a nice comfort show so that's what i'm gonna watch i'm gonna eat i have been fasting for so long it's been probably more than almost 20 hours not more than but almost 20 hours so i am so ready to break my fast um yeah so thank you guys for watching this vlog uh leave a comment um give it a thumbs up subscribe in case you're not i rarely tell you guys to subscribe so when i do just go ahead and do it and i am gonna see you in my next vlog bye